Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial guide here on Tom Clancy's The Division. So today I'm just going to share a quick tip that I found with you, uh, for you guys. Um, and it basically started with the new Falcon Lost um, DLC the update, whatever you want to call it, coming out. Uh, and to do that you need to, to get a certain gear score. So my gear at that point was all purples and blues, not amazing, it was about... Well, I think it was less than 100, and you need 140 score to actually get that, which means obviously you need in high-end weapons uh, and items, which, as you can see right now, cost a hell of a lot of money. Um, so you can't go around just buying these, and they're very limited to what is actually there. Uh, so I needed to go out and find some, and I actually found a really, really quick and easy method for actually doing this. Now, this isn't just a good tactic to uh, to embrace to actually get the uh, the weapons themselves you can also use them to deconstruct for high-end parts and things like that but as you can see now uh, from blues and purples I've actually got myself quite a lot of high-end um, weapons and items and I actually got them pretty damn easily and I'll be just sharing really quickly how to do it so how do you do it well it is simple as replaying missions on hard difficulty now I know this is not big news to a lot of people um, but the is one particular mission in um, general that will actually do it and it's right across the road from the base of operations it's the Madison Field Hospital mission now this probably isn't the uh, the most beneficial uh, mission to actually get high-end weapons and items but it's the fact that it's the first mission you're pretty much meant to do and it's even easier on hard difficulty than anything else but it's the fact that you can do it quickly. Uh, now this is the easiest mission by far. It's the quickest mission by far. It's really not that hard. I mean, I have replayed quite a few missions now um, on hard difficulty, and they're very long. Uh, they're very long anyway. Uh, but on hard difficulty, especially, especially playing solo like myself, it can be pretty difficult. But this is uh, just a quick tip to tell you guys to replay this mission over and over again on hard, and it really is as simple. Uh, as I think there's like four different sections till you hit the roof battle. Um, so this is the first one, and it's just a case of taking down a few guys. I think there's four or five guys, um, and uh, yeah, you can do that pretty easily, pretty quickly. Just hide behind this desk, and I'll go through each section very quickly with you now. So that was the first section. The second section is actually in the Madison uh, Square Garden arena. Uh, and it's probably, the first two sections are probably the hardest actually. Um, so all I do for the second section is just sit here with a sniper rifle and literally just pick the enemies off. Now if you're, uh, if you're quick enough and you can snipe uh, well enough, I mean I'm really missing half the shots that I'm firing here, but the enemies don't actually get anywhere near you. You can just sit back and pick them off nice and easily. And uh, like I said, once you've got the second section done, um, it's pretty easy from then on. So uh, that's section two. Now, section three of enemies is when you get out the elevator. And this really is very easy. Run along here until you see these whiteboards right here. This will give you a good amount of cover. And again, if you've got a sniper rifle, uh, this won't stop you from getting shot. But as you can see, you can literally just sit back right at the other side of the... Uh, of the map pretty much and just pick off these enemies you are supposed to I think get closer to them actually go into the section uh, where they are and uh, fight them like that but if you're very clever about it you can literally just sit here and pick them off very easily so uh, that is section three now on to the last section before the rooftop finale so after you've snapped them enemies out from afar uh, you can literally just run up uh, here and into this section so once you get close to the doctor dr. Kendall uh, a couple more enemies will respawn now I like a real easy method of doing this is to uh, pull my turret out put that down on the floor and then get a grenade ready and the enemies will literally just run straight into it so I can sit there with my assault rifle and pick them all off very very quickly so there's the turret down chuck the grenade and then just literally sit there and fire away into the uh, into the distance so these are level 30 enemies and they're really not causing me any trouble at all i can just get rid of them all and uh, then move my way on up to the rooftop for the finale with the final boss which again i've got a nice little method for and make it very easy so what is my nice easy method well it's just like back two sections ago uh, and we're just going to stand here and snipe away so uh, the final boss won't actually get activated or to take you out until you actually get to the top of them stairs so if you just sit here uh, and fall back you can pick them off now there's about three waves of uh, enemies 
that come out here and you can just sit there sniping away at them uh, obviously they will chuck grenades at you and stuff like that so now I've actually gone up to that section the boss can shoot me but uh, all I do now is uh, just return back to the bottom of them stairs and uh, just sit there and pick the rest of the enemies off and uh, eventually you will hit the final boss uh, he will jump down and start coming towards you and then it's just a case of uh, sitting here sniping away uh, as he gets closer and then finishing him off with something like an assault rifle nice and easily so eventually you'll get to the stage where you uh, have to take down the final guy who is uh, right here old Hutch and uh, not too difficult really as long as you keep yourself uh, away from his uh, direct fire but uh, yeah for completing the mission you get yourself a nice blue rarity uh, mission uh, reward also 10,000 credits as well uh, chance to complete any weekly objectives and your high-end item so uh, I managed to get myself uh, some covert gloves here um, which is pretty damn good uh, they're actually mechanics original covert gloves the best that I've actually picked up so far you do get normal gloves and things like that sometimes but uh, yeah you do get yourself some awesome stuff so I'm not exactly sure uh, if there's a set amount of items here. I mean, I've uh, farmed for about two hours last night uh, and I got a few duplicates of things. I got a few basic things like normal gloves, but I did get some really good things like the uh, the Mechanics original covert gloves. Uh, I did get a nice uh, sidearm pistol as well. Uh, I'll show you guys all of these drops in a minute as well. Just a nice little taster of what I, uh, I got. But it's the fact that you can get a high-end item, uh, 10,000 credits, um, another mission reward, the various different loot that all the other enemies drop, all that in, in about 10 minutes. It literally takes me 10 minutes to do this, and I'm not the best at this game by a long way. Uh, so this is the best thing I actually uh, managed to get from the two hours worth of farming. But I did uh, get a military Scar H on another uh, daily mission that I was doing, on another side mission um, as well. So you can get yourself some high-end weapon drops. Um, and high-end sidearms so uh, yeah there you go that is the awesome um, M45A1 sidearm I actually got as well as uh, my covert gloves as you've already seen right there I've also had things like the rush backpacks normal backpacks uh, mods like the advanced electronics and advanced stamina um, mods things like that so uh, yeah that is just a really quick tip for you guys um, again nothing groundbreaking people obviously know that you can get high-end weapons but maybe people didn't think that uh, right across the road from the base of operations is a quick 10 minute mission with only about three or four sections of uh, waves of enemies that really aren't too difficult uh, and a final boss battle that isn't too difficult either so hope this helps everyone anyway uh, like I said it may not be groundbreaking but it's definitely helped me and uh, I've managed to get up to the, uh, the gear score required to do the Falcon Lost mission so uh, if you want to use that then that is fair enough also like I said anything you get that's duplicated you can sell um, obviously high end weapons sell them for more than uh, anything else uh, but you can also uh, deconstruct them for high end parts and uh, yeah there you go Anyway, thank you for watching everyone. Just a quick tip for you there. Anyway, I will uh, continue farming and uh, coming up with these uh, little methods if you guys enjoy them. So, thank you for now and I will see you guys in the next one.